your time and still remember I serve Okoye Timothy Mark. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Okoye Timothy Mark. Like and comment for secrets of your calculations and the academic channel. For this, you will see a lot of things that will help you to excel in your academics and other aspects of life. Today, I want to look at the three secrets of trigonometric functions or secret of dealing with trigonometric functions part two. Part two. Uh, I want us to look at this for a 360 degree, 360 and zero degree. Is zero degree. 360 times one. Let's go 360 degree times zero. 360 degree times 1 is 360 degree. 360 degree times 2, 720 degree. 360 degree times 3, 180 degree. 360 degree times 4, 1440 degree. 360 degree, multiply by 5. 1800 degree, 360 degree, says is 2160 degree, and so on and so forth. Now, I want you to know that all these angles plus small ones, which are whole number multiples of 360 degree, have exactly the same values. In their trigonometric functions, have exactly no change in sign. Nothing. In other words, if I know sine zero, I know sine three sixty. I know sine seven twenty. I know sine one zero eight zero. I know sine because it's exactly the same. Cos zero is exactly cos these values and other multiple, whole number multiples of three sixty degree. Tan zero is exactly the same value for the tangents. Of these angles and all the whole number multiple of 360 degree and so on and so forth. Hence, sine 0 degree is exactly sine 360 degree, and sine 720 degree, sine 1080 degree, etc. And that is 0. Because they are all whole number multiples of 360 degree. Cos 0 degree is exactly as cos 360 degree, cos 720 degree, cos 1080 degree, etc. And that is 1. Tan 0 degree, tan 360 degree. Tan 720 degree, tan 1080 degree, etc. And that is still what? Zero. Cosec. Zero degree, then as cosec. Okay, that is the short form CSC. 360 degree. CSC, that is cosec 720 degree. CSC 1080 degree ATC and that is only fine. Sec 0 degree. Sec 360 degree. Sec 720 degree. Sec 1080 degree ATC and that is 1. Cos 360 0 degree. Cos 360 degree. Cos 720 degree, cos 1080 degree, it is C, and that's the key word on the fan. This is the true saying for all the whole number multiples of 360 degree. Now, another thing I want us to look at is. Ah, Another thing I want us to look at is for. Angles that are above 360 degree. 
You, these are the secrets. I want to show the secrets of getting their trigonometric functions. For instance, if I am giving us to give him 405 degree, and in my calculation, I need I need to use whether it's sine or whatever. Or I'm giving an angle like 119, 1170 degree. Or an angle like even 2000 degree. 20,000 degree. Something like that. All you need to do is what I will show you now. I will show you with two methods. First method. 405, that is method 1, something like method 1, divide by 360 degree, get the ratio, and that is the angle you pick. For instance, 405 degree is, you do it 405 degree, all over 360 degree. That will give you one on number, 45 over 360. You pick 45 degree. That is your answer. Therefore, sine 405 degree is exactly the same as sine 45 degree. Cos 405 degree is exactly the same as cos 45 degree. Even tan 405 degree is exactly the same as tan 45 degree. So if I know another trigonometric function, so if I know if sine 45 cos 45 times 45 and cos 45 or sine 45 cos 45, I know the same for 405 degree because it's exactly the same. Let's have another example 1170 degree or 360 degree. We look at it, this will give you 3 whole number 90 over 360. So pick the 90 degree. Therefore, sine 1170 degree is exactly as sine 90 degree. Cos 1170 degree, cos 90 degree. Nothing changes. It doesn't become blurry. Exactly. No change in sine. It's like nothing like to put plus or minus. You get this minus, put that minus. Tan. 1170 degree is than 90 degree. It and other trigonometric functions. Even cosec 1170 degree, cosec 90 degree. It is it. So if I know for 90 degree, I know for 1170 degree. Now let's look at 2000. The 2000, which we have on the board. Two thousand, okay, twenty thousand degree over three sixty. One may say, how can you easily get this? Three sixty by five is one thousand eight hundred. Therefore, three sixty by fifty is eighteen thousand. I have twenty thousand. I meant two thousand. Now, three sixty times five is one thousand eight hundred. Therefore, five plus fifty is fifty five. So what I have is now fifty five. So I have fifty five. Or number now 18,000 plus 1,800 is 19,800. So what is remaining is 200. 200 over 360 degree. So if I can know for 200, of course you know that 200 is in the top product. What I add to 1 is to get 200 is 20. So this is not for 20. So therefore, sign 20,000 degree. It's exactly as sine 200 degree. Cos 20,000 degree cos 200 degree. Tan 20,000 degree tan 200 degree. And even cosec 20,000 degree cosec 200 degree. Sec 20,000 degree sec. 200 degree cuts 20,000 degree cuts 200 degree. And I want to emphasize 
the importance of the, uh, the multiple of uh, two with zeros, with zeros. Now note this. For your own consumption, secrets, consume these secrets for your health. Any number that begins with two and ends with zero from 200 and above have the same value for the assigned cost, calendar, and all above. For instance, sign 200 is sign 2000, sign 20,000, sign 200,000, sign 2 million, sign 20 million. It is not the number of zeros, even sign two zeros, it's two zero. The number of zeros is immaterial as far as it's from 200 and above. And they are all gotten from sign 20. But you know, sign 20 is, and sign 200. It just sign 200 is negative sign 20. Cost 200 is it has cost 2000, cost 20,000, cost 200,000, cost 2 million, cost than 200 is it than 2000 times 2, uh, 20,000 times 2, times 2 whatever number of zeros as far as from 200. So the true ratio of any digit that begins with 2 and end with 0 as far as it's from 2 zeros and above is exactly the same. If you can come up for 200, please come up for 200, that's the answer. If you ask me, sign 2 million degree. I don't need to press my pocket to waste my time. I'll just say, sign 2 million degree is sign 200 degree. And that is negative sign 20, which is now minus 0 0.347, or that approximation. Okay? So, cost 2 million. Cost 200. Than 2 million. Than, than, even than 200 million. Even than, than 2 trillion. And whatever 2 and the number of zeros is the same material. Just come back to 200. 200 is the beginning. Is that the same thing? 200. So if I have something like 630 degree, maybe you give me 630 degree. That's method 1. I still do with method 1. I will not enter method 2. We we'll still do method lines are also like 630 degree. 30 degree. 30 degree. I'll just say 630 degree over 360 degree. That gives you number 270 degree over 360 degree. So I'll just pick 270. 270 is the answer. So since 630 is like 270. Cause 630 cause 270. And C starting, and start three the Now, method two. Let me show you method two. I'll deal with this. In other words, two, we use the decimal, but it must be meticulous, very, very meticulous here. Yeah. I can also, I can still extend it to method three. In method two, you use your calculator. 4 or 5 degree, just do it. 4 or 5 degree over 360 degree. That gives you 1.125. Now leave the whole number part, pick the decimal part. You now say 0 0.125 times 360 degree. That will give you um, 45 degree. Then pick 45. Or you do it this way. 4 or 5 degree or 360 degree, one more number, that is the way to 360, yeah, 40, 45, 45 over 360. You read it to simplest form, 5 here, let's have 3, 3 can come here to get 15, 3 is 120, 3 again, 5, 3 is 40, 5 here, 1, 5 here, 8, 1 over 8 times, now, Now, 1 over 8 times 360 degree will give you 45 degree. Hence, you pick 45 degree, that's exactly 45 degree. Even if you give me something like uh, 630 degree, like the last one I did there, you'll do 630 degree over 360 to get the angle because we are interested in getting the angle. Let's see, let's have to 360 degree over 360 degree. 
Wama number 1.75. One point seven five. So, or you do it this way. Now, fill the decimal part. Now, zero point seven five times three sixty degree. We'll give you two hundred and seventy degree. So that is the angle you pick. Pick it. So everything about two seventy degree is for six hundred and thirty degree. Or oh, you do this way, 630 degree over 360 degree is one, one number, right? Uh, remain 270, so 270 over 360. Uh, the HCFR is 90, so let's take, or oh, let's take it the easiest way. Since the L end with 0, you can start with 2, or 135 over 180. 3 comes in 45 over 60. 3 again, 15 over 20. 3 again, um, not 3 can go again, 3 cannot go again. 5 can go, 3 over 4. Hence, now, A over 4 times 360 degree. One zero eight zero degree or four two here two five forty two again two hundred and seventy degree. You pick it two seventy degree, that is the answer. Now that is for angles higher than this. Another thing I want to show you for uh, the last time I showed, uh, the other I showed the multiples of 360 degree, they all have the same thing. But if you pick something like 90 degree, <laughs> I want to look okay, at Let's go this way. Let's say uh, factors of 360 degree. The angles repeat. How the intervals at which the angles of factors of 360 degree special repeat themselves in terms of special angles. You know that. In the special angles in the first quadrant, of course, all the angles are special, but we are talking about the key angles. Uh, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. Now, these angles the number of, I will indicate the number of times you will buy each of them to get 360 degree apart from this, apart from zero. Of course, there's no number of times you will buy zero to get 360 degree. You will buy zero one million times, still zero. By like 30, we have to multiply itself 12 times to get 360 degree. For 12, we have to multiply itself, let me divide it into segments, into apartments, this way. That for 12 half we measure 8 times to get 360 degree. 6 times to get 360 degree. Why is it 4 times to get 360 degree? Now the logic is that if I write 30 degree, the 30 degree repeats itself in 12 times, 12, 12 uh, intervals. Right? 30 times 1 is 30 degree. 30 degree times 2 will give you 60 degree, which is not equal to 30 degree. This is equal to 30 degree. 30 degree times 3 is 90 degree, which is not equal to 30 degree. 30 degree times 4 is 120 degree, which is not equal to 30 degree. You must get to the 12 intervals. So let's now go to this. The 12 interval of 1 is 13. So 30 degree times 13 will give you 390 degree. And this 390 degree is exactly 30 degree. So if I'm looking for sine 390, I'll simply pick that sine 30. Is that, is that, is that the same? Cos 390, cos 30. Tan 390, tan 30. Cos 390, cos 30. 
and so on and so forth. Another 12 interval is greater than 25 because 13 plus 12 is 25. So 30 degree by 25 will give you 750 degree. Therefore, 750 is exactly 30 degree. Another second. So sine 750 is sine 30. Cos 750, cos 30. Tan 750, tan 30, and so on and so forth. Another interval, if I add 12 to here, is that 7. So 30 degree by that 7 is 1, 1, 1, 0 degree, which is exactly 30 degree. So sine 1, 1, 1, 0, sine 30. Cos 1, 1, 0, cos 30, tan 1, 1, 0, tan 30, blah, blah, blah. Now let's go to 45. The intervals of 45. Let's go for 45 degree. 45 degree by 1 is 45 degree, which is exactly 45. Of course, it will be in 8, eight intervals. 8, eight what? Interval. 45 degree by 2 is 90 degree, not exactly as 45 degree because. Sign 45 and, and sign 90 are not the same. 45 degree and 3 is 1 at 5 degree, not exactly 45 degree. So the eighth interval of 1 is 9. So let's put it down there. 45 degree times by 9 is. 150 minus 45, 4, 5. And this is exactly 45 degree. Hence, sine 4, 5 is sine 45. Cos 4, 5, cos 45. Tan 4, 5, tan 45. You know what we did it before? If you bring another 8 interval to 9, because 8 interval is 17. So if I have 45 times by 17, that will give you 765. And that is exactly 45 degrees. So 45 degree, so sign 45 is sign 765. Cos 45, cos 765, blah blah blah. So 45 degree repeats itself in 8 8 interval because 45 by 360 is 8. In angle to 360 degree. Resist the grain. Yeah. Okay, okay. You can pause the video and try for 60 and 90. After which, you can uh, turn on the video again to confirm if your answers are correct. All right, now let's for 60 degree. 60 degree repeats by in, in 60 interval. 60 degree, which is exactly 60 degree. 60 degree by 2. 120 degree, which is not say, that's a 60 degree. Because you can see that times the two will turn to minus, the two will turn to plus for 120. Uh, but the total was something exactly, that means it does not change the sign. What total was the thing not being exactly is because of uh, the changes in the sign and sometimes the values too. Now, the 60 degree by 3 is 180 degree. Which is not a total of 60 degrees. So let's look at 60 intervals of 1 is 7. So 60 degrees by 7 is 420 degrees, which is a total of 60 degrees. So sine 420 is sine 60. Cos 420, cos 60, times 420, times 60, and so on and so forth. Another 60 interval is uh, 13. So 60 degrees by 13, 780 degrees. Which is exactly 60 degree. So sine 780 is 60. Cos 780 is cos 60 and so on and there, so forth. Another easy way to remember this is that if you remember here, we talk about 390. What do you add to 390 to get 30? To get what add to that to get 390? See 360. Can be adding 360 in table. The add 360 to 30 gives 390. That's exactly. 30 degrees. If you add 360 to, to 390, it gives you 750. That is exactly 30 degrees. Or another multiple of 360 that you add to that to get 750 is 720. 
You know what I'm saying? R of 360 to 750, you got this. Or you say R1080, which is another 360 to 30, you got this. You said that I'm going to have R360 to 45, you get 405. We R360 to 405, you get 765. That's the 45. You said that you R360 to 60, you get 420. R360 to 429, 780. This one must be every day. Let me look at for 90 degree. 90 degree will be shared in 4 4 intervals. So 90 by 1 is 90 degree. Exactly 90 degree. 90 degree by 2, 180 degree, which is not exactly 90 degree. The values and the signs are not the same. 90 degree. By 3 is 270 degrees, which is not exactly 90 degrees because the signs will change here. You now check uh, 90 degrees by 4 is 360 degrees, which is not exactly 90 degrees. But the 5 interval, the 4 interval of five, 1 is 5, so 90 degrees by 5 is 450 degrees, which is exactly. 90 degrees. So sign 45 for time 450 is sign 90. Time 450 than 90. Whatever the motor ratio of 450 is added for 90. Or you can just say 360 plus 90 is 450. Same thing. Another 4 interval of 45 of, of 5 is 9. So that means 90 degree by 9 is 810 degree. Therefore, yeah, 810 degrees is exactly as 90 degrees. If I do another point over, that is uh, 13. So, I mean, 90 times 13 is 1170. So, 1170, and that is exactly for 90 degrees. So, whatever, if I'm looking for this angles, or it just be added 360 degrees intervals. So, uh, you can comment or subscribe or like my YouTube channel, Koichi Mutimag, for more of this. I want to end it here today for a series of video with regulatory functions, part 2. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Koichi Mutimag, like and comment for better and more updates on things that are hidden, hidden secrets in dealing with calculations and other academic issues. And all that in terms of life. Thank you. I'm going to remember myself. Okay.